I spent over a hundred dollars on AI anime pussy. Excuse me? Black Star. As I farted in my mom's mouth. When I was like four or five years old, my mom was napping on the sofa with her mouth wide open. And I don't know why, but I squatted on the arm of her chair with my ass hanging directly in her face. And I farted straight into her fucking mouth. Yo, call the FBI, call the CIA, nigga. What is wrong with you, bro? You have a Diddy aura at five years old. How the fuck do you do that? I got in deep trouble that day. I still bring it up to her now and then, and she still gets angry. Every time I think of it, I still hysterically laugh. I probably do it again, given the chance. This nigga at five years old was farting in his mom's mouth, and he liked that shit. That's not normal. He wants to do it again. Raise the fucking alarms. This nigga's Diddy 2.0. Like, actually, bro, I beat a and I love it. All right, this one says a couple of days ago, my friends and I found out about a kid that lived in our town that recorded him. His little brother. I will be using the name Sean as a placeholder. Sean is 19 and his brother is eight years old. And he recorded the entire thing. It was 1 a.m. And a friend and I were able to lure him outside his house into the woods where I proceeded to beat him with a bat repeatedly over and over and over again. I mainly aimed for his back and chest and legs. My friend is holding a flashlight. His screams and pleads were so satisfying. I enjoyed his blood curdling screams. The sound of a guilty man screaming is music to me. My friend and I then leave and he somehow walked home and his parents took him to the hospital where the video caught up to him and he was arrested somehow caught up to him somebody leaked that shit i can't describe the feeling of watching the blood just fall out his nose and his screams he let out i loved every minute of his beating you sound a little bit iffy but that's just me if you had just let it work itself out in prison they don't take very well to child predators and men who often mess with women and children in general he'll get his justice every day in prison as a former correctional officer we tend to turn a blind eye to those sort of things he's not doing his job by letting them do that but is it really that bad guys is it really that bad somebody fucking said it serial killer in the making and then somebody under that says what the original poster says no batman it's, it's, getting, a little, it's getting a tad bit cringy bro's calling himself batman let's tone it down a little bit all right i think you like doing more than just harming molesters the way you described it man i don't i don't know I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Somebody says below that. Nope. It's not like it's not a good thing. The good thing would have been to send a video to the police so you can get arrested and let the justice let the justice system do their thing. Vigilante justice is not justice. If we want a just world, we can't defend vigilantes. That's just medieval. For those who don't care about justice and support blind vengeance, I will just say what goes around comes around. I mean, he's not lying though. People praise Batman and what he does, but low key though. He's still he's still crazy he's still fucking actually weird what batman does is illegal still like he's not he's not law enforcement he's not the, like batman is not the government batman is not the cia he's not the fucking fbi he's a he's a normal nigga handing out the lanty justice if you really break this shit down bruh what he's doing is weird and what the guy is doing in the reddit post is weird too and the comments are are, are, are picking up on this too they're, they're picking up on it this nigga he's low-key a serial a serial killer he's low-key crazy i'm a 30 year old virgin who loves to say no to sex weird flex but okay like nigga what i'm committed to waiting for marriage to have sex i've made the decision when i was in high school expecting to be married in my early 20s i'm fairly good looking and have had plenty of chances i just always turn them down some of my friends have tried to offer me sex because they feel bad but i don't really care you have your friends, your female friends offering you sex, and you're like, nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. What the fuck?
Hey, you do you, buddy. You do you. It just, it, just, it just couldn't be me. Honestly, the only woman who could make me change my mind is Jennifer Garner. Who the fuck is that? This basic white woman? <laughs> you're fucking weird it's an it's a it's a it's an actress too you'll never meet her in your fucking life and she'll never fuck you somebody says have sex with the woman you plan to marry before you marry her you'll know what you're getting into the rest of your life is a long time somebody says i am a woman and i agree with, i i agree with this 1000 percent. the last thing you want to do is marry someone who was bad in bed the trick to navigating these waters isn't about virginity or experience it's about connection find someone who clicks with you on all levels not just the physical the bond that won't make you question your choices when the going gets it's tough or the passion ends in the waves of long-term commitment then somebody says you are wasting your life and time for something that's rooted in make believe damn all right now here's, here's my take on this shit bro the only problem with waiting till marriage to have sex is let's say it's your honeymoon night right and it's just you and her you're off in fucking barbados or where, 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 where are the fuck right and he finally shows you her coochie and you go down to get a little whiff you know i'm saying you want to smell before you put it inside words to live by but you want to put it you want to you want to smell it before you put it in you go down to fucking smell it and it smells like it's, it, it smells like rat piss and dog semen <laughs> Let, let, let's say she washes herself it's all cool and shit like that then you have to deal with her sexual preferences did you, you want to get a blowjob i'm not really comfortable with that you should have married somebody else you're sitting over here all mad and shit because i can't get my dick sucked and i married this, this woman who won't do it oh she won't she only wants the fucking missionary i can't do donkey style she might not want to do what you want her to do but me personally i would never fucking do that I'm gonna fuck, then I'm gonna see if I want to marry. I'm just being real. Did your dad marry your mom before they fucked? Go ask him. I don't think so, pussy. So hop off my dick. All right, this one says, I spent over a hundred dollars on AI anime pussy. Excuse me? Has come apparent to me that I have a mental handicap. I don't know when it has emerged and became apparent, but the awareness of it has been apparent. That's kind of redundant, you dumbass. I desperately crave for the touch of a woman. I think around middle school I had a collection of candid pictures of my fellow classmates' asses, which I would violently jerk off to. My hand jerking to the speed at which sometimes i would have to go to the hospital due to my foreskin being torn from my penis and becoming infected due to the tear coming in contact with the buildup of dick cheese amazing great how sweet the sound this nigga needs to i don't even know there is no punishment on earth that will oh my god bro what and nevertheless i came to the acceptance that i would never come in contact with a woman i have resorted to ai chat rooms I use a multitude of websites, but one that fed the appetite of my insatiable, throbbing, pus-filled peener wiener was a website called Janitor AI, where you could commit indescribable acts to characters on the site. My favorite being Kim Pines from the show slash comic, Scott Pilgrim. The things I did to her was atrocious as I helplessly jerk my gurk my room becoming filled with the stench of my man juice as i chatted with kim my favorite scenario was me being married and having a family with kim specifically a daughter just for four extremely tall and dark-skinned men with their peter wieners out to barge into my home and brutally kim and our daughter while the fourth dark-skinned man forcefully pulled out my peter wiener and gave me a hand job, forcing me to jerk off to my family being 
touched. This scene makes me blow loads. When I try to redeem another $10 worth of messages my car declined, my heart dropped, I felt like throwing up. My family have repeatedly begged me to come downstairs to share Thanksgiving dinner. I lashed out at them as I was too immersed in eating out Kim's AI booty hole. I feel trapped. Even when I went to go grab a plate of mac and cheese, it reminded me of Kim's AI coochie. I want help. I want to be fixed. My mother called me asking why I had spent $130 in a single day on open AI. I had to lie to her. How could I look at her in the face and tell my own mother I was edging to Kim Pines on janitora.com. I lied and said it was a video game. I feel sick. I'm disgusted with myself. I can't even save up enough for a car. Someone please help me. I legitimately think that has been the worst confession I have ever read in this entire series. Like, I don't have a funny joke for this. Like, this is actually disgusting. No joke here. Like, this is actually insanity. Like, I don't know what he says he, he says he wants help. Nigga, there's no helping you. Like, there's literally no help in this nigga. Like, at this point, bro, ring the bells. There is no help, nigga. Nobody's coming but death. It's over. Your life is done. If we scan his freak level. It breaks the fucking scouter. It breaks the power scale. This nigga's freak level is it's infinity. I'm just appalled. I gotta report this shit. Harassment. Cause it, it, it just harassed my eyes. Thanks for your report and looking out for yourself and your fellow Redditor. As your reporting helps make Reddit a better place and a welcoming place for everyone. It means a lot to us. Yeah, that's the first one I had to report, chat. Being dead ass. Like, this is not normal. We'll go down a path of being the weirdest nigga on earth. You thought Jeffrey Dahmer was bad? Wait till you see what this nigga can do right here. My brother in Christ, go talk to a therapist. There's no point. His therapist will need a therapist after this shit bro all right this one says bruh i paid a dominatrix to poop in my mouth because i thought i had a scat fetish it ruined my life so i kind of fell down the porn rabbit hole during the pandemic and the porn i watched got more and more extreme eventually i got to scat and i thought it was the hottest thing ever yeah you're okay what nigga there is nothing hotter than watching a beautiful woman push out a giant turd in 4k or so i thought eventually i got bolder and decided i wanted to try it for real i hired a dominatrix who specialized in scat and water sports she wasn't cheap but she came highly recommended after six months ago the day had come i was ready to live out my greatest sexual fantasy she came to my apartment she commanded me to strip and lay on my on land and lay on a tarp she had laid out she went to go change she came back in a leather outfit with no bottom and she asked if i was ready i was extremely ready i looked up at her beautiful butt and watched with excitement as i saw it start to come out directly over my face then it fell directly into my mouth moment it hit my mouth i knew i had made a terrible mistake it tasted and smelled so bad my arousal instantly left she knelt down in a commanding voice and said eat it all with tears in my eyes i chewed it up and swallowed it and she said coldly good boy she then commanded me to eat her ass clean and I did. Then she pissed on my face and made me drink it. I cried and she called me a bitch and slapped me. And she made me bend over and she spanked my butt hard while I cried. And before I knew it, the hour was up and that was it. She left with the money and her supplies and I showered and I cried. Yes, I am aware I could have used a safe word and made it all stop right there. Before we started, she was talking about how so many weak men cancel midway or end up bitching out. I know it's dumb, but she really was hot and I'm not good with a woman and I wanted to impress her. Fuck you mean impress her. What do you mean impress her? It's her job. Yes, people bitch out, right? 
but she still got paid what are you talking about you don't know this woman what do you mean impress the woman she doesn't like you she likes your money and pooping on you and pissing on you but that's besides the point what impress her is crazy well it really mentally messed me up and i legitimately became a major germaphobe and i constantly clean my apartment and myself i'm more nervous around women i'm attracted to and a girl flirted with me and i had a little panic attack it ruined my life and now i'm even more messed up wow um that's on you bro i don't know what to fucking say like, well, at any point you could have been like don't poop on me <laughs> and she would have stopped at any point you could have been like don't piss on me and she would have stopped but you were like i want to impress this woman that doesn't give a fuck about me i'm gonna let this woman poop and piss on my face because i'm such a badass yay yay just before we finish this confession bro his reddit name is mr freaky cheeks yeah okay we can see why you're called freaky cheeks Black stuff.